For those of you that have sent your ECU out to Finland for an unlock on the locked DMEs 2020 or newer, watch this video because it is important that you do this step or else your DME can relock itself. Once you get your DME back and you start tuning your car, you don't want your car to automatically update or else it will relock your ECU and you'll have to send it back and pay again. These cars are connected to the internet. BMW is able to send software updates for the iDrive and other stuff over the air to your car while it's parked, etc. Uh, so to turn this feature off, which you will need to do unless you want to just pay for a new DME unlock every once in a while, you can go to car in your iDrive, settings, general settings. I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to start at the top so that you can too. All the way down to this data privacy section. You're going to turn off the all service part and we're going to go down to an individual selection. Now, all this stuff you can do on your own if you want any of this off, it doesn't matter. The part that is important for your DME is this remote software upgrade right here. You don't want your vehicle to be able to do remote software upgrades. That will relock your DME. I also turned off all of this stuff on my settings. You want to just copy it. This one is the one that can relock your DME. You don't want that on.